Welcome to The Complete Picture. I'm Julianne Cost. The Libraries panel has a fast and easy way to extract seamless patterns, vector shapes, colors, type attributes, and gradients. I'll start by creating a new library and call it Mono Lake. And in the Layers panel, I'll make sure that I'm targeting the layer that I want to work with, and then choose the plus icon and select Extract from Image from the bottom of the Libraries panel. In order to create a seamless tiled pattern, I'll choose Patterns, and then select from one of the different pattern options. We can scale the image, as well as rotate the area that's used to define the pattern, and reposition it in the image area. When I create a pattern that I like, I can then save that to my CC Libraries. In order to capture a vector shape, I'll select it and then determine how much detail I want to capture. I can use the Eraser tool in order to remove areas from the shape and create the smoothest vector shape. I'll include Smooth on Save and save it. To extract colors from the image, I'll choose Color Themes and then we can select from one of these different moods or we can drag in order to create our own color theme using any of the samplers. Again, I'll save that to my library. And to create a gradient, I'll select it, choose the number of color stops, and drag any of the samplers in order to customize it. Now to capture character attributes, I'll choose Type, click the plus icon in order to select an image with text in it, and then reposition the blue rectangle around the text. I'll choose Find Similar Fonts, and Photoshop will display similar fonts from the Adobe Type Library. I can then select the font and save the character styles from the text. All right, let's close this and move to the other image. In order to add the pattern, I simply click on it in the Libraries panel. I'm going to scale this down to 5% and then apply it. I'll tap the M key to select the Marquee tool. I only want the pattern to appear on the right side of the image, so I'll select this area, target the Pattern Fill Layer Mask, and use the keyboard shortcut Command Delete on Mac, Control Delete on Windows to fill with my background color. To add the graphic, I can drag and drop it into the image area. We can resize it as many times as we want, because it's a Creative Cloud linked vector illustration. In the Layers panel, I'll move the shape below the pattern fill and choose the gradient in order to add a gradient that's automatically clipped to the capture shape. I'll double click on the thumbnail for the gradient, decrease the scale to 50%, and click and drag to reposition the gradient in the image area. We can apply that select the Type tool, and to apply a color, I can click on any of the swatches in the color theme. To apply the character styles, I'll select that, tap the T key to select the Type tool, and select a larger point size. Before we wrap up, I want to mention that the contents of your libraries will be available in other Adobe applications when you sign in with your Adobe ID, including Illustrator and InDesign and Premiere. And if you're on a mobile device, you can use the Adobe Capture app to capture and upload all of these types of assets, as well as brushes, looks or color lookup tables, audio, and 3D materials. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.